Let's hope it's not shooting. Can I get a sample, please? Load up on the samples. is good too. Mm. I don't know if I should get that those cashews. <laughs> simple not try to overdo it here there's so much ground to cover here uh, 
yeast. I have to look for yeast and salt. There's your ramen noodles. Well, let's check out the food area. This is the snack area. Ramen noodles that I want to try out here. Yeah. I'm totally in the wrong area. Where we go. I saw this thing on your wrist and for a split second it looked like a web shooter. I was just oh. like a digital me just like <laughs> It's my cell phone holder actually. I saw that after I actually looked at the same thing, You know, it looks like Instacart is a sham. None of these apps actually do anything. Made like $13 in DoorDash in an hour. <laughs> uh, where's the cold food? There it is. It gets crowded here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get these cashews though. Because, uh, damn, they'll last me like a whole year. Uh, unsalted. Uh, yeah, you gotta buy everything in bulk. Uh, and they got free samples everywhere you go, Jack. One of these chocolate coconut almonds. Oh, Alright, I'll try one. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you sold me on that. I mean. Oh, we're going to get your arms for more. <laughs> no, man, they're so good. Yeah. Chocolate covered almonds. Right. Coconut. Amazing. Cool. They really are. It's dark around. chocolate, which is supposed to be better for you, but it doesn't even taste like dark chocolate to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can have six. Yeah, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's not that dark, but... Yeah, the bitter stuff, You right? taste the, the, the coconut. coconut just bursts. Yeah. It's just enough to make you want some more, I think. Oh, yeah. It's addicting. That's what it is. It is. But, um, it says you could have six. You can't read the bag. Just no, I don't want to load up too much. Oh, uh, yeah. No, Thank I you, know. though. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. They're delicious, though. Hey, I'm gonna... you want, if you take your steps around, yeah. it's justification to get another sandwich. Yeah, That's maybe. Awesome. <laughs> All right, man. I'm supposed to actually have lunch. I'm loading oh, up on yeah. sweets. There you go. Okay. Take it easy. Thank you. I tell you, they give samples out here, and you just load up. Uh, it's all candy. I mean, that, that coconut thing was actually a highlight right there. That was all good. Spam over there, I think. We got more samples. Everywhere you go, we got samples here. You can get a free meal here just by eating their samples. What is that? Panda chocolate cream filled cookies. All junk food. All junk food. If you're a kid, you must be having a ball here with all the samples of candy. Where's the ramen? I 
here's what I really came here for is the food. No. Yeah, maybe I should get some Greek yogurt uh, while I'm here. Signature organic Greek yogurt, five ninety nine, Kirkland brand. Three samples coming over here. This is Brooklyn Signature Colombian Coffee. Yeah, I need a little pick me up. <laughs> yeah, Kirkland brand. Can't go wrong. Yes, please. No, just some plain. Thank you very much. Just to cool it down a little bit. Thank you very much. Yeah, I tell you the Kirkland brand, um, the vodka. I've had that before, and um, it's just as good as Grey Goose. So let's give this a little whirl here. I hope you enjoy. See what it compares. It probably compares with Starbucks, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll see. I might actually buy. I'm in need of some coffee. Yeah, thirteen ninety nine in this day and age. That's a pretty good price. Thank you. Uh. Oh yeah, that's rich. That's some good coffee. Man, that is definitely Colombian coffee. I mean, I just quit coffee, that's the whole thing, but once in a while I do drink coffee, but that is elegant, that coffee. That coffee is... Elegant. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, she's gonna roast beef. Cold cuts here. Loading up on the three samples here. Again. She's gonna 
going out for some lunch, but I just munched down on the samples. Somebody was telling me about the ramen noodles here. Thank you. Chinese restaurant, it's just as good. <laughs> Actually, this is what I wanted to check out. Um, this is the Asian section right here. But actually, this little chicken medley, chicken and rice. Chicken teriyaki bowl. Mmm, delicious. What's the name of this brand? It's right here. It's Bibigo. They're right there. Hardly anything left. We're selling out like crazy. Yeah, it's really good. It tastes really fresh too for a frozen type of thing. Um, very, very in here actually. I might buy some, but um, I came here for the ramen noodles specifically. Terry, you can taste the hint of teriyaki. It's not overpowering either. The flavors are there. Let me tell you. Brooklyn Pizza. <laughs> uh, ooh, new freezer. I need to upgrade my freezer at home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I thought they had some ramen noodles here. noodles that I wanted to try here. Here's our pizza section. I stopped doing the, as soon as I got my high blood pressure, I stopped doing the frozen pizza reviews. There's the ramen right there. But I'm not sure if this is the ramen noodles that some other YouTuber had ramen noodles he were reviewing from here, but it's not that's not the brand. Uh see if we can find those ramen noodles. ramen noodles we'll, we'll find them there's got to be in this area somewhere oh my God, now they got more free samples right here craft the sandwich spiral croissant God, you can just get a meal just by doing all their samples here uh, let's do a sample shall we they're going that one. They're going like hotcakes too. Those samples. <laughs> yeah, 
Her son left this Melbourne leaf. Bedley, I mean. <laughs> the way they heat it up on the microwave is like perfect. Thank you. It's delicious. Look at that. You can fucking get a free meal. Go to Costco and get a free meal. Oh yeah, I have a ramen noodle stuck in here somewhere. Ramen noodles. I came here just for ramen noodles and I'm uh, checking out all the samples they have here. Uh, I think this is where the ramen noodles are. No, there's no ramen noodles here. Tofu. Egg bites. We gotta buy everything by bulk. Nothing in my basket. I'm just eating the green samples. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of ground to cover here at this Costco. Spinach and artichoke, parmesan. Right, be dipping for days on end. That looks really good, though. There's some things that get my uh, attention. Oh, they got hummus here too. How much is the hummus? And it's organic. me a while. The spinach artichoke is not too bad. It's only $7.99. This is... We got some chips for free. Oh, I think they're just crackers there. It's shy. Let's cover this area too.
everything is marked with a price. It looks good though. Lasagna, it's only eight fifty nine. Everything is, uh, let's see how much is this? Uh, pasta, prima, ravioli, chicken, mozzarella. How much is this? Check at the counter how much that is. Got mozzarella cheese, make my own pizza. Bonitas. Here's back to whatever free samples on here cheese and crackers. Let's go with a sample, shall we, Chad? We'll do a cheese and that with sample. Gotta get our captains here. Uh, gotta document this. Uh, let's see if we can document this. Some cheese, some brie cheese. Hold up, let's see what this is. So, let's see what we're sampling here so we know. French brie, Kirkland brand, and some crackers. So, let's go and have a sample and do a review. Thing on a cracker and make a little sandwich. That is good brie. Brooklyn brand is actually good.
You can eat for free here, basically. <laughs> I'm gonna buy something, though, at least. Now, this brand here, I'm telling you, this one here is what I like. This, this one here. Cilantro chili. I think. This it's different. Is that cilantro chili? No, it's something else, but. Tell you what. Let me get this cilantro chili. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Really, I mean, you can get some really good stuff here at Costco. Dude, I just ate my lunch for free pretty much with all those samples. That middle-aged chick wasn't bad. She was thin. Maybe I should have risked her. I think they have those ramen noodles that, uh... Two ninety nine a pound for those ribs. Sushi here. Oh my god. myself. Have that for lunch. Came here for ramen noodles and then I'm getting tempted with their sushi that looks elegant. Oh, check out the seafood prices here. Farm raised though, you don't want farm raised. Five ninety nine a pound, that's pretty good. Twenty four ninety nine a pound for this lobsters. Actually, I found a place in Spring Valley that has live lobsters for that much. Uh, those crabs actually look good there. How much of those crabs? 
Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to get trying to get those crab legs on camera here. Oh, no, no, they look really there. good. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> $29.99 a pound. Wow. Wild cooked golden king crab. Well, it's king crab, so that's why. Uh, oh, this is actually not too bad. This is um, $8.99 a pound. Ugh, whole uh, Dungeons Crab. I never heard of Dungeons Crab. Ugh. Ugh. seafood area right here and uh, prices are pretty good here but the thing is it's farm raised I don't like farm raised that's man you don't want to they have antibiotics and shit in the farm raised stuff uh, see if we can find the ramen noodles I came here just for ramen noodles and I can't find the ramen uh, uh, there's more seafood over here too. Let's go ahead and check out the seafood over here. Uh, more seafood. Maybe we should ask somebody where the ramen noodles are. Actually, this is a good price, nine ninety nine for a bite. Farm raised, everything fucking farm raised. Yeah. Well, just for all you seafood fans out there, uh, farm everything's farm raised. So I really frowned on the farm raised. Stuff. Uh, where is the goddamn ramen noodles? And the sushi actually looks elegant. Where is the sushi? I mean, where is the ramen noodles? I was here over the road. And I was over here too. Here's the mozzarella cheese. right there for the snacks.
think I was on this aisle already, so let me check that this aisle. Uh, I don't think they have the ramen noodles, believe it or not, unless it's in the dry section area. <clears throat> The yogurt area. I don't know, dude. I'm really exploring this area and I can't find the noodles. <clears throat> Ramen noodles. I can't believe they just should have like a section for Japanese food. Uh, that's not here. We already checked here. Uh, no buzzard. <laughs> Egg rolls, spring rolls. Samples from a jogger. Sausage area. Right over there. <laughs> I'm looking for ramen noodles. Let's see if it's over here. <laughs> and we got the liquor over there. <laughs> Buy everything in bulk. cheese when I get home out of that French bread. I don't see any ramen noodles. Came here for ramen noodles and I can't find that ramen noodles. Section, but I don't think they sell them here. This the ramen noodles. Maybe I should go in there and ask. Uh. You can get a slice of pizza too. chicken before here, it's okay. We got ribs here too. Uh, 
behind in sausage. Dydros for 20 bucks. I was thinking about getting that sushi. Do a review on the sushi. <clears throat> and they already have the dry rub on it. It's only three ninety nine. That's not bad. So we were here before, I couldn't find the ramen noodles. I think I, maybe I should download the app on my phone. Let's go, I don't think I've been to this far corner here. Right. Let's go to the next one. They don't have the fucking ramen noodles. There's another guy on YouTube a long time ago was doing the ramen noodles that he got here, and it was good. And I can't find the ramen noodles. Uh, kind of, that's why I came here for, was the ramen noodles. Mm. Hi, dying grass. Vodka would be better for me in this day and age. And you know what? I forgot to take my Amesrupural. chopsticks at home, we can do the sushi review at home. I got so much left over with food. Mm. 
I really can't believe they don't have the uh, ramen noodles. One more fucking sweet. One more sweet. Over here, we do this. This is the Asian girl. Plus, I have some beer in me. Definitely not gonna get the hot dog here. I mean, you would think it would probably be in this section here. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> How much is it? Uh, so I'm gonna have a chicken. Damn, it's not the brand though that the guy was reviewing. That's the whole caveat. You know what, I'm just going to go back to the guy's YouTube video and see exactly what he got. That's definitely not... They only have one ramen noodle here, and they could have three brands, three or four. Uh, I think you're in me. This will be everything I made in an hour, or less than what I made in an hour. This fucking door there. Uh. It's a little work out there. I think he would know where ramen noodles and maybe I'm stereotype casting them. Yeah, let's just go this way. Here. We try something I never tried there. We don't have the ramen noodles in this section, but I don't think it will be dry ramen noodles out of there. It's like more of like a. Uh, I gotta take a, oops, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Yeah. Oh, we got pictures here too. Let's see, let's see how this goes here. Yeah, Walmart has the same prices on the tents. $199, I think, or $89 for that this tent here. Ugh. Dude, I just gotta use the restroom. I'm really fucking have to take a choice. In hindsight.
They got their grills here. So they have anything affordable within my Jew budget. Born alone, die alone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think they got rough rooms over here somewhere because I really got to go to bed in this day and age. Ah, oh, they don't have ramen. Look at the lines anyway. In hindsight. There's the restrooms. Oh, I might have to end the stream because I have to use the restroom. I mean, end the VOD. <laughs> Tell you what, shot. Um, fuck, maybe we'll get a hot dog. No, not a hot dog, but they have a sandwich for six ninety nine here. Thank you. I need to use the restroom. Let's see. Sandwich here, turkey swish sandwich. I should just wait until I get home and eat. Right, $1.99 for a slice now. Oh, there's a chicken bake for $3.99 chicken breast, cheese, bacon, Caesar dressing. Yeah, maybe we should venture with that, huh? Anyway, uh, I gotta use the restroom. Shutting up the video. Use the restroom. Maybe we'll get something to eat. See you guys. Kaboom! So I got their chicken bake here at Costco. Do a quick review while I'm here. Probably would be a lot better with marinara sauce, so I'm not sure what chicken bake is. It has chicken, parmesan, I don't know, we'll look at the, what it is in a minute, what a chicken bake is. Let me just... Mm. They got bacon, chicken and bacon, I think. Chicken bacon. Oh. Chicken bacon. There it is. Chicken breast, cheese, bacon, Caesar dressing. And I was gonna get water. <clears throat> I don't have a quarter. The water here is 25 cents. I have water in my car though, and I have 25 cent in my car, but anyway, this is chicken bake.
Tastes a little salty. Really should not be having this with my high blood pressure. By the way, this is taped the broadcast because you can't get, get a good signal on here, so I couldn't go live in Costco here in Henderson. Because I try to go live here, but you can't get good 5G or 4G, or you can't get a really good data connection. You can get too much interference, too much steel, too much metal. I had some water. It's salty. Scale of 1 to 10. I guess if you're really hungry, this is okay. But would I get this again? No. Scale of 1 to 10, it's like a fucking 4. After my second delivery, it was like a ghost town. I was in Henderson do doing DoorDash. And after my second delivery, I was driving everywhere and I couldn't get another dash. Fucking can't make any money doing this fucking shit. Dash. I'm gonna maybe start really to so nice? do the dash oh. right now. <laughs> Everything like kind of spread out here in Henderson too. Not too much money I made in two deliveries. Thirteen dollars and fifty cents in fifty-three minutes. Instacart. So I basically just sat in front of Smith's. Like here in Green Valley, Henderson area, I sat right in, in Smith's for like 10 minutes or whatever. I'm driving, I'm, and I have both apps open. So I have my Instacart app open. I'm using my DoorDash. I didn't get anything, no, no things for Instacart. So maybe that's a waste of fucking time too.
grand fucking water. Let me see if I have a dollar bill. I got water, they're 25 cents here. I'm not breaking a five for water. making money. Well, I do door dashing. Really, in reality, you can probably make about between $7 to $10 an hour doing door dash. I'll try to do an eight hour day tomorrow. Or a six hour day. Started like at two. Or maybe one thirty or so. fucking do is what they do, these DoorDash companies, they get so many fucking drivers out there to where you can't make fucking money. I thought it was going good, man. First delivery, $5. It was only like, <clears throat> it was $2 plus a $3 tip. <laughs> because the delivery was like only at two miles away. Right after I dropped off that delivery, within five or ten minutes, I got another dash for another delivery. And I'm, trust me, I'm hanging out where there's a bunch of fucking food restaurants, too. I'm, I'm hanging out right where there's food restaurants, so... One fucking shopping center has like eight fucking restaurants. I think I might have to redo my fucking strategy here. Find a fucking hot spot. So I did two deliveries. McDonald's delivery, that paid like five bucks. And then my second delivery was Chick-fil-A. That paid like eight bucks. The reason why it paid because the chick gave me a three dollar tip. It was in a school, too. This time, man, what you gotta do, especially when it's in a school or somewhere like business, you gotta keep this message them. No, no, okay, I'm going through the door. The, the chick was basically waiting at the door, like open the door for me. Just, she was there because I, right when I, I, I said, okay, I'm, I just picked up the food at, you know, Chick-fil-A. I'm on my way, you know, every, because she texted me first. So I was giving her play-by-play -play fucking updates. It was a quick delivery, it only took like five minutes. I mean, if I can get that every, like, go back to the, that area with a bunch of uh, restaurants, if I can get another delivery and keep it consistent, like, deliver something, go back to my little hotspot, deliver something, it should be steady, but it's not fucking steady, it's a fucking sham. Maybe that little chicken bake, it's called. Would have went better if I had something to wash it down with, like water. $3.99 plus tax.
I knew I should have brought my water here when I went to Costco. I didn't buy anything because I can't afford anything. I was going to get these uh, these uh, spinach raviolis for like 16 bucks. It looks so good. But I'm like, well, I just made $13 on fucking DoorDash. I can't even cover my fucking raviolis I'm about to buy. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys when I see you. I'm done here. Boom. Hello, I'm OG Majestic Lion, also known as OG Geezer. I would say it's like a TMZ for fucking degenerates, basically. A lot of the people on IP2, and I'm telling you the truth, there's a lot of good people on IP2, but there's a, there's a lower percentage that are total fucking scumbags, degen the shit posters. They have no idea what they're fucking talking about. Oh, who is Geezer who killed his own sister? <laughs> then they ran with these stupid fucking scumbags. And they're hiding, Geezer. You're hiding. No, I'm not fucking hiding. I don't want to get arrested. Even getting stabbed was not good enough for these fucking losers. Fuck you, IP2. I hate your fucking guts. Remove me off your network.